And Shannon definitely earned that crowd pleaser award. This week, Sportsline reporter Lindsay Carroll caught up with the powerhouse Cougar to find out how her performances are stealing hearts across the nation. Yeah, Shannon Evans doesn't let expectations or pressure keep her from having the time of her life doing the sport she loves. And this season, two of her loves came together for what some might call a truly video game changing routine. I enjoy it. Like wholeheartedly, I love doing it. I love performing it. I'm in the moment, and I think that's why people like watching it too. When Shannon Evans first stepped into a gym at just two years old, she probably never imagined she would ever gain national recognition in news outlets like Sports Illustrated. I just remember loving it from, from the time I started. While her natural talent certainly played a role in her gymnastics career and success at BYU, Shannon quickly points out that hard work, determination, and a healthy dose of fun made it all possible. Throughout the season, Shannon has collected many awards including MRGC Gymnast of the Year, Bar Specialist of the Year, and Floor Co-Specialist of the Year, and recently became the first All-American for BYU Gymnastics in 14 years. And how did she do it? It's been really tough to just get up, fall, get up, fall, fail, fail, fall on your face, fall on your back, fall on your butt. It's just kind of like life slapping you in the face over and over again, but you choosing to get back up instead of like letting it put you on the ground. I've just been able to get knocked down a lot and take what the world has for me and what life has for me and stand up a little bit taller after. And through learning to believe in herself and having the determination to achieve in gymnastics and in life, Shannon knows anything is possible if you're just willing to put in the work. Success is in the cards for, for anyone and for everyone. Like there's enough success to go around. And Shannon will join the number 17 ranked Cougars today in Baton Rouge as they compete at the NCAA Regionals against Arkansas, number 11 Minnesota, and in-state rival number 6 University of Utah. Back to you. Thanks, Lindsay.